Hey Hunter Hunter fans, welcome back. You're here with Ash and we are back to watch some Hunter Hunter episodes 32 and 33. Took a little bit of a break to take some time off, but I'm excited to see what happens next. We started scratching the surface of what Nen is and we got to see Hisoka go into an important battle against a rival that was able to take him out in a previous Heavens Arena showdown. And it was the only takedown that ever happened on Hisoka. So we get to see this time what happens. Will Hisoka prevail or will his rival win with his special techniques of duplicating and cloning himself using none. If you're new to the channel and haven't been here before, do consider subscribing. We are doing the Hunter Hunter journey and we have been for a few weeks now. I believe it's going to take another few months before we actually finish the entirety of the anime, but I'm looking forward to all of it. I've been hearing so many great things about the upcoming arcs and the fact that we're going to get so much more gore and violence, which I'm really happy about because I secretly don't mind that kind of stuff. So let's watch episodes 32 and 33. A surprising win. Oh my god, he's just playing with his arm. Hisoka, you're a madman. <laughs> what is he gonna do? Is he covering up his arm? Clairvoyance, okay. Oh, it's a magic trick. I was waiting to see if he would ever pull off some magic tricks. Okay. I love that he's getting a whole crowd to do the math. I mean, it's a simple mathematic formula. He just stuck his hand in his arm. So, are you gonna pull the card from there? I mean, that's just a formula. A satanic magic trick. Again? You mean he's always bizarre? This isn't normal for him. Yeah, he's just offering it. What's this game here? Yeah, he just offered both his arms. Wow. This is the cockiest move I've ever seen. Like, I don't even need arms to defeat you. That must be painful regardless. Interesting. Excuse me? What is happening right now? It almost feels like the his left arm didn't get severed. Only one did. It got re-severed? What the frick? It must be illusions and deception. Also, why does he have a ball for a waist? <laughs> Oh, wow. Okay, he sees as very boring now. I mean, he is kind of going into a frenzy right now. He knows which one's which. Oh, so what's the difference? The blood. That is smart, Ahsoka. Oh! Using his severed arm with Nen. I think only a trained eye in Nen would understand what's going on. Is the next attack going to end it? Cornered. Not enough time. Disrupt his focus. Yeah, but now he's completely shocked him. Oh my god, look at him go down. Oh my god. Running out of memory? Yeah. Sorry, my RAM is at full capacity right now. Can't use any other programs. <laughs> so he's saying that he learned something so expensive that it was only like a one trick pony. Dang, Ahsoka. He knows, though. He knows Ahsoka won. He can sense that. Dang, his senses are getting good. Oh, hello, pink curled gal. Who is she? Or am I forgetting? Is she the girl that we met earlier on that went against the Ario? Those are his two arms, two hands. <laughs> <laughs> you would think there'd be a lot more bleeding. 
than what we see. Oh, I wonder if the Nen is actually stopping the bleeding. Hmm. <laughs> she took a picture with her minds. That must feel incredibly uncomfortable. Nen stitches. That's really cool. Something tells me he wagered that he would lose limbs in this fight and he had to kind of on standby. Oh, that's so weird. So he did lose both arms. We just don't know how he brought them together for that fight. <laughs> You're twisted in the head, Ahsoka. Bungee gum and texture surprise. そういた方がいいかな。その方が戦闘中にじりきで元に戻したっぽいもんね。バンジーガムで腕に貼り付け。ドッキリテクスチャーで肌を再現。A oh. really nice trick. Man, there's so many applications of Nen. We're getting complex. Like biological um, or medical applications of Nen. She's. <laughs> His favorite gum is so cute. Mine was Hubba Bubba. <laughs> Flimsy lies. Stick to the floor and roof, dang. I wonder how people actually noticed. Everything's like tethered to him. Oh, wow, okay. Literally tethered him. Basically, used like, um, what you call it, deflection as a means of doing his whole act. Get people distracted by something else. Alright, next time people gotta focus on that in their eyes. Around Hisoka. Oh my god. I had no idea everything was so planned out. That's actually a really good moment to do it. What's the difference? Not magic in this world between Nen and magic. It looks very similar to me. That's true. If he hadn't faltered, he might have had a chance. I think it was very unnerving. I mean, it's not, it's a very unsettling performance, to say the least. Even if you were a master, you're just like, what the hell is happening? Processing that probably would make you very distracted to fight against Ahsoka. And I think he wins a lot like that way. Just pure shock factor. New orders. Oh. Okay, so before their supposed meet date, when they're going to New York City, or York City. Okay, good to know he's part of the Phantom Troop. <laughs> no. <laughs> You're on your own, Asuka. Look at this kid's resolve. Has the ability to do whatever he wants in this like nice flat and just focusing on his nen. Boring. Are you lying? I wonder if he saw through it. Oh, that's gonna be interesting for him to pick apart. I mean, he hasn't trained in seeing. Yeah. Seeing things with his eyes. The past, huh? Interesting. I wonder how mentally scarred he is. Sounds like there's a lot of trust issues and stuff there. Oh, that would have driven uh, Kurpika mad. Can't tell if arrogance or super hurt from his past, but I guess we'll find out. The way he walks, though. 
constantly on his uh, tiptoes. Oh, it's a fake? I just like, I can't tell what's going on at this point. So he's he got an in. What does he want with the Phantom Troop? He's been the most interesting character so far. There is so many layers and levels to Hosoka. It's like you can't even really begin to understand what his motives in his game is and like what he's trying to do, nor his past or whatever. He's kind of like the master of deception here. It's been really fascinating to see him in every single one of these episodes where he's the centric character. It almost feels like I would like more Hisoka centric episodes um, at this time, even though it's like really nice to see Gon and Killua get better as well. <laughs> I won't say much have improved since the last time. Yeah, this guy is still shady. Oh, okay. Okay, so it was the special string. But how did he leave a part of his, like, Nen for a long time away from the fight? Does he have the video right here? Oh, cool. It's going to be like a commentary of the fight. Wait, you can even see that in the video? Are you telling me that video devices can capture Nen? High level application of Zets. Okay, makes sense. Oh, so he was trying to use the That's going to be interesting. What about, what about Zushi, though? Oh, dang. Let's go, Zushi. Oh, wow. That sounds incredibly painful, to be honest. So I wonder how long it'll take them to get that trick down. Yeah, without taking so much effort, because he looked really constipated there. That's interesting to see that everyone uses Nen in different applications. Like, even golf? I wonder if that is considered cheating. Or... You know how, like, you have enhancement drugs, like sports, and how that's illegal? Are there any regulations to things like this in the in this world? Okay, so extending that window of training as far as possible. There's something here. Oh, it's these three again. Come on. Super boring at this point. <laughs> I want to see different characters. He's really eerie. <laughs> no, you can't exactly provoke them into a fight earlier. Don't do it. Yeah, exactly. Why do they care about your deadlines? That's a weird promise. You're being really strange now, dude. But something tells me he's gonna use underhanded means to get him to fight him. Like, provoke him. <laughs> Actual monsters. Yeah, they're the kinds of kids that would practice 24 hours a day if they could. <laughs> Selfish reasons, he just doesn't want to be surpassed. This seems like a really lame move. It's like some kind of Nen squid. That's actually really scary that, like, a Nen can be so strong that it could prevent you from even screaming. It's like those nightmares that you have where you can't even scream for help in your sleep. I'll just, like, actually put him to sleep. Dang. Oh, Killua's on to them. 
<笑>ゴンちゃんとも戦うからね。そのスケジュールに合わせろよな。それならあいつは喜んで戦うぜ。Killua is like Gon's manager. <笑>ルキスで君に渡そう。はいはい、いいっすよ。これでいいんだろ。ああ。それじゃあ返そうね。without <笑> えっと、ま、いいや。いや、some I mean, there's like this part that hasn't been taken care of. The god got the threat. <laughs> Dang. <laughs> Clean living's tough. <laughs> I wonder how many people he's killed in this past just because he got upset. Ooh, does he have a new change of outfit? Killua always has a lot of drip. Oh, is that what that is? Get money off the fights. Oh, dang. What's with the murderous eyes? Oh, wow. Is that why his eyes are so strained? That makes sense. Not even the murderous attempt. He's just been practicing it. Dang, Killua. Oh, I didn't actually realize that. The fact that the card hit his chin is probably because he punched him in the face. Oh. <laughs> him too? I guess I just didn't want to say it in front of Wing San. I wonder if they'll have to move like two wolves together and not make any other friends because they would just attract danger to everyone else around them. They would make a good team. That's so awful. They're just like hunting the weak prey on the floor so they can get easy wins. That's all he wants, wealth and glory for his life. Dang. He swim buckets. Oh wow, okay. Just like that, he wins. That just shows how strong like Killua's aura was to really just make this like guy back out together. Like right to this point we haven't actually seen a demonstration of their inanity abilities which makes sense you know they're working on it which means it's gonna be one hell of a show when they actually start to utilize it and I have a feeling they're the type that would learn things like midst battle like they're not just training outside battle but they're picking up other techniques along the way as well especially with like observation now that they have Gyo they probably are seeing through their enemies attacks and learning a thing or two when they watch these fights as well it's like to a whole other level right now uh, which makes me excited for the next fights to come and episodes 34 and 35 and where they're gonna go with this and who their opponents are gonna be they aren't these chumps you know i, I want to see some really cool things happen and i am hoping that we get that in the next few episodes so thank you again hunter hunter fans for joining me for another two episodes you'll find me next thursday for episodes 34 and 35 please remember to like comment and subscribe and i'll see you all for our next one bye